Hi, Emily Taylor here with Collage Quilter. This video is all about making the fox block in the Longwood quilt. So there's the fox. And if you are one of our block of the month customers, you will be receiving or have received uh, the fox fabric bundle. And let me show you what comes in this. And also to say that there are a few of these blocks that you or kits that you can still purchase on Collage Quilter, even if you're not participating in the block of the month. So in the kit comes a nice assortment of fabric for the collage of the fox. We've got the background and then the two background fabrics. So in order to get started, now all of this, all of the instructions are in the pattern, but a couple things I want to point out. So when you get started, uh, you're going to I like to just have the block ready to go. So you're going to cut the, cut the background fabric according to the instructions. And one thing that's different about this that you're going to need, or I mean, you don't need it, but I really, really recommend it, is using freezer paper to create a template. So this is a 12 inch square, but because this block is on point, I wanna make sure that that is uh, lined up with this directional fabric. So using a template in this, on this block is really helpful. So let's, uh, now I'm gonna go get set up and start collaging and why don't you join me with that? All right, so I wanna show you the tools that I'm using. So obviously I've got my tweezers that I love, my scissors, my iron and sewing, or my uh, iron rest. My iron is on, ready to work. Uh, this is the fabric bundle that you have received. You you might have pieces that vary slightly, but uh, this is the assortment. It's all been prepared with Stima Seam, so I like light Stima Seam too. You can see that I've already cut into it as well because I did an initial fox. Let's see, so this is the first fox that I did, and I can see that he's coming along, but he, I, I kind of started, I, I don't know, I was kind of scattershot in the way I made him and his, the pieces are very uh, angular, very choppy. And so I decided, you know what, I think I want to do this again. I'll, I'll finish him and I'll use him. I think he'll turn out great when he's done, but I felt like I was losing the losing him. So I recommend starting with the fox's face, which is I didn't do that with the other one, but I like this better and I feel like getting his face done first is has been really helpful so that I don't lose him. The other thing that I have done that's different um, is I've got my gray tone underneath the parchment paper. And part of the reason for that is that I, I normally I like to have the gray tone to the side and that works really well. This time I decided I would try it just underneath and really it's because I just wanted to let go a little bit and not be so concerned about really tight details. So you can see also the sketching on the parchment paper is very loose. Um, so anyway, I, I feel like I've got him most of the way. I'm going to now just kind of continue, uh, continue in this vein working on this little fox. So whether you leave this the gray tone here or pull it out, either way is fine. Um, so let's just get going.
it. So I'm just about finished with this cute little guy and I feel really good about the way he's looking. Is he perfect? No. And that's part of the artistry. You know, I, I just love it when they're not too perfect. Um, <clears throat> a couple comments that I want to make to maybe help you out. Um, one of the things that I find extremely helpful when I'm just about finished with the project is to take a photograph and look at your, look at your work through a photo. So you can see that I've done that there. Let me put this last piece right here. And then this is really helpful because when you're right on top of it, it's sometimes really hard to see what changes you might need to make. So looking at it through the camera gives me a really good, a very different perspective. And overall, I'm happy with it. I think there's just one little edge and it's right here that's rather sharp. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and my tweezers and just smooth that one out just a little bit. And I think that's all I wanna do and put this last fabric piece in here. And uh, I think we're done with our fox. Let me just trim that one too. Ta-da! I think he's good. I'm pretty happy with him. So now what I'm gonna do is press him. And while well, I'm gonna take some more pictures, just make sure that I'm happy with him and then I'm gonna press him. Are we good to press, Amelia? We're good. Okay, let's press. Oh, there's a few extra pieces that are floating around on this. But uh, so I'll I'll press him kind of like this, but I'm I'm actually gonna take him over to my regular iron. So I'll go do that and I'll meet you up front in just a second. All right, Mr. Fox is going under the hot iron. So this part is going to adhere all these little pieces together so that I can peel him off in one piece and apply him to my background block. Um, and that's the, that's the last step. Or you can just leave him on the parchment paper until your block is ready. And um, yeah, there you go. So I do want to point out a few things with this box. He is a little more on the intermediate side versus beginner side. As I learned um, through the process, I think it's easier to kind of start with his face then the rest is kind of, is, is more simple. Pay attention to where the lights are and where the darks are. That's your key. And then anything like on his tail, for instance, this is kind of the lighter area of his tail. And then you've got these really transition pieces that go, uh, that help us make the leap from the really light pieces to the dark pieces. So dark, dark, dark is all around here. But to soften that up is where I've used those medium tones, the intermediate or transition pieces. So I'm really happy with him and I hope this has been a helpful tutorial. Good luck with your fox block. I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you'd like to see whatever everybody else is making as they do the block of the month, um, check out the Collage Quilter Academy Facebook group. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.